So from Hokkaido all the way to Yanaguni across approximately 2,000 miles, we've been able to work command and control, coordination, live fire infantry, live fire artillery, and HIMARS. So this training combines our, uh, our abilities and, and demonstrates that in a way that is uh, very personal, right, between us and, the, uh, and our JGSDF counterparts. Bilateral training is important because when the rest of the world is able to look in and see the United States conducting training with our allies in the Indo-PACOM region, it sends a strong message to everyone that those alliances are well fed. This training demonstrates our combined readiness capability because in a few short days upon landing here, we were able to quickly integrate turn two with planning and training. So it shows no matter where or when we go, we're able to quickly adapt and form a plan to work with those around us. Yeah, so our relationships with our allies and partners in the Pacific are incredibly important to us. Uh, by working with them, we are able to increase our deterrence in the region to hopefully prevent any future conflicts before they occur. And secondly, it enables us to increase our interoperability. We're ready. We can integrate time now, right, in the, uh, in the first island chain with our allies and partners in a way that can help uh, bring the, the, the U.S. joint force and then our partners and allies joint force right into one conversation to affect integrated deterrence within this theater.